There's a cool uh, mural up here. Yeah, this fence hangs in the way of this nice mural. Flora Street over there, ragtime vintage clothing, and I think that's a garage. The Flora Hall there. One to Moody. It leaves in three minutes from Catherine Bank. Oh, good. I only have three minutes to leave. That's good. This is Catherine and Bank Street, and that's the Queensway up there, that overpass. There's all the traffic. You can see the tops of the cars. This is my bus. Yeah, this is it. This is the entrance to the Canadian Tulip Festival. A celebration of the gift of tulips and Canada's role in the liberation of the Netherlands in World War II. There's Dow's Lake Pavilion in the background. Pretty hungry, so I might try out one of these food trucks. Green papaya Thai food there. 
Mexican food. There's a Canadian staple up there, beaver tails. Music stage here. Here's a vehicle adorned with vegetation.
tulips there. Me out as there usually are at the tulip festival. We've had a very cold spring. This variety is called Pretty Woman. Obscenely tall that building is. It does not fit. It ruins the skyline. It's got a lemonade stand over here. That's cool. Donations for Ottawa Regional Cancer Foundation. That's cool. I couldn't have the lemonade because there was sugar in it, but I made a donation anyways. I got this cardboard lemon in return. There's a couple of ducks in the water. Paddle boats out there. And a canoe or kayak. Plastic canoe, I think. Fiberglass canoe.
Canada was honored when Her Royal Highness Princess Juliana, now Queen of the Netherlands, found refuge in Canada's capital during the occupation of her homeland, 1940-1945. Her Majesty's gifts of tulips each year have created great beauty for the enjoyment of residents and visitors. Unveiled by Her Majesty, May 17, 1967. This tulip bed was dedicated on May 5, 2004 by the National Capital Commission in honor of Her Royal Highness Princess Juliana, former Queen of the Netherlands, in recognition of the enduring friendship that Canada and the Netherlands enjoy. Queen Juliana lived from 1909 to 2004. Check out what's inside the tulip pavilion. Hats. in here. I think this is Hijinks Antiques, which is right near my place. Oh, there's a, I think that's a motion lamp for $95. Oh. There's crafts over there. And here's a little history of the Tulip Festival. In 1953, the Canadian Tulip Festival is founded by the Ottawa Board of Trade and further inspired by renowned photographer Malik Karsh, whose iconic photos of Ottawa's tulip beds brings international fame to the city. 1957, the Right Honourable and Mrs. John G. Diefenbaker planting tulip bulbs in the garden on 24th. Sussex Drive. Prime Minister John Diefenbaker presides over the opening ceremonies 1958. The 1960s, 1961, Prime Minister Diefenbaker, Governor General Vanier, and U.S. President John F. Kennedy meet for talks during Tulip Month. nineteen sixty seven Canada's centennial year, Queen Juliana of the Netherlands makes a royal visit to the festival. 
Juliana Thrills, Big Dow's Lake Crowd. 1968, Prime Minister Pierre Trudeau opens the festival, festival by cutting the tulip ribbon while chewing on the stem of a golden melody tulip. Mark anniversary of Dutch liberation. Dutch Canadians will help launch this year's Canadian Tulip Festival with a program commemorating the 25th anniversary of the liberation of Holland by Canadian forces. 1970. Celebrating the 25th anniversary of the liberation of Holland, Dutch Canadians give Canada a 1500 pipe concert organ. 1972. Liberace opens the Canadian Tulip Festival with a piano concert. 1982, the festival celebrates the 150th opening of the Rideau Canal with Aqualude. There's Tiny Tim. Spring festival organizers hope faded falsetto will pull crowds. I remember that year. I never saw him there, but... And there's Alanis from 1987. And now we're on to the 90s. The Canadian tu Tulip Festival leads to the establishment of, an international, of international friendship gardens in 20 countries. Tulip fe Festival blossoms. The Tournament of Roses float. There's Jean Chrétien. 1995. Princess Margaret of the Netherlands returns to Ottawa to officially open the festival which celebrates the good relations between her country and Canada through the twin themes of the friendship that flowered and the 50th, 50th anniversary of the liberation of Holland. Real life hero meets real life princess. I guess she met some of the troops that helped liberate her country of the Netherlands. 2000s now. 2005, a celebration of peace and friendship commemorates the 60th anniversary, or anniversary of the end of the Second World War and the gift of tulips from the Dutch. The tulip is proclaimed as Ottawa's official flower at the festival. Twenty ten Liberation celebrates the sixty fifth anniversary of the liberation of Europe at the end of World War Two. The Liberation of the Netherlands. Nazis invade the Netherlands. Queen Wilhelmina and the Dutch royal family fled the country. Her daughter, Princess Juliana, came to Ottawa along with her daughters Princess Beatrix and Princess Irene. Two German soldiers in Holland during occupation. Personnel of the Kensington Regiment 49th Division British Army firing French mortars September 1944 to May 1945, Canadian forces played a pivotal role in the liberation of the Netherlands from the Nazis. One hundred thousand tulip bulbs are given as a gift of gratitude to Canada from the Dutch Queen. Spring 1947, Ottawa and Canada discover the beauty of 100,000 tulip blooms.
While in exile in Canada, Princess Juliana gave birth to her third daughter, Princess Margaret. At the time of the baby's birth, part of the Ottawa Civic Hospital was declared extraterritorial, allowing the new princess to hold Dutch nationality exclusively. Here's some memorabilia from Tulip Festival's past. Tulip Festival shirt from 1996. Magazine. Return of the royal family to their homeland and grateful Dutch families begin sending gifts of tulip bulbs to Canadians. Juliana's gifts of tulips in park and hospital grounds Nineteen forty seven to nineteen fifty two, Federal District Commission increases the number of tulip beds. Spring popularity of tulip beds increases each year. According to oral tradition, families in the Netherlands that billeted soldiers from overseas keep a white painted stone out front of their property so the folks can return to their home away from home. Dutch Royal Family, Ottawa as Haven. In 1940, Nazi Germany invaded the Netherlands and the Dutch Royal Family evacuated to London, England. Her Majesty Queen Wilhelmina sent her heir crowned Princess Juliana and the princess's daughters to Canada. They spent five years in Ottawa and became part of the community where they lived like their neighbors. In 1943, the Crown Princess gave birth to her third daughter, Princess Margaret, in the Ottawa Civic Hospital. Immediately after the Second World War, Crown Princess Juliana presented Ottawa with, with 100,000 tulip bulbs in recognition of its hospitality. In 1946, she sent an additional 10,000 as token of appreciation for Canada's support and wartime effort. To this day, the Netherlands still sends 20,000 tulip bulbs each spring to Ottawa. I guess they put on little reenactments of life in the life during World War II on this stage. sewing kit like that. I wouldn't mind seeing one of the shows that they put on here.
dedicated to David's discovery of and respect for military airmen and their stories. A few years ago, David wondered how many people who had attended the high school and lost their lives in the war. He used the names he found on a memorial plaque on the walls of Glebe High School to start his research. Using war era newspapers and other resources, David's research widened to include all service people, as well as all areas seen on the wider area of the map. The screen you see in the corner of this pavilion is a touch screen. Once you touch a number, you'll see a picture and details of a Canadian soldier who never returned home. Each marker on the map represents a household that lost a serviceman during the six years of war. The red dots indicate the Air Force, the blue represents the Navy, and the black represents the Army. 472 homes in this small area of Canada's capital, wrapped by grief. 472 sons that did not return home. A gift of tulips, a symbol of gratitude. The tulip has become the symbol of friendship between the Netherlands and Canada. It celebrates Canada's dual role as liberator of the country and safe haven for Princess Juliana during the Second World War. In thanks, Princess Juliana gave 100,000 tulip bulbs to Canada after the war. Since then, the Dutch Royal Family and the Dutch Bulb Growers Association have sent 10,000 tulip bulbs to Canada every year. From the ashes of war, a shining love affair between Canadians and the Dutch. The Occupation, a terrible toll. After Nazi Germany invaded the Netherlands on May 10, 1940, the Dutch faced a brutal occupation. Young men, Jews, and other vulnerable people went into hiding for months and even years. Those caught by the Nazis were imprisoned and deported to concentration camps. During the war, 75% of the Netherlands' Jewish population was killed. In all, 230,000 Dutch died from violence, starvation, and the privations of war. <laughs> Trucks loaded with Dutch refugees and their bicycles, 1944. Ottawa's princess, born on international soil. Princess Margaret was born on January 19, 1943, at the Ottawa Civic Hospital. Her name means Daisy, a flower that symbolized hope and resistance in the Netherlands during the war. In order for the baby to be born with full Dutch citizenship, the Canadian government designated Princess Juliana's maternity suite as extraterritorial. The day after the birth, the Peace Tower rang out with Dutch songs and the Netherlands flag was raised over Parliament. Little Marguerite, you will be our Princess of Peace. No, it's Princess Marguerite. She's a Dutch princess. Thank you. 
festival. The Tulip Festival and Dow's Lake over there aren't too far from Little Italy. That's the beginnings of Little Italy on Preston Street right there. And this is my bus stop.
Festival in Ottawa. This has been Steve's World of Wonders. Bye for now. We're watching Steve's World of Wonders. Bye for now.